good morning everyone today we are going to see an add on to the article which was published in english hindu regarding additional uh, packages or the special packages which are being granted to the states so uh, in the article it was also mentioned about the finance commission and its role and its criteria with which it is sharing the funds from the center to the states so the first thing we want to introduce to you here is the word called as fiscal federalism so basically we all know that federal structure means it's going to be the sharing of powers between the center and the states when we make use of the word fiscal federalism it's going to be sharing of the powers in terms of the economics or in terms of the revenue sharing between the center and the states and we all know that finance commission is a constitutional body and it is uh, according to the article 280 and it is helping us to uh, share the resources between the center and the state now i am going to tell you two key words to remember first thing is the finance commission is helping us share the resources between the center and the state by vertical tax devolution that's the first word what do we mean by vertical tax devolution from the center to the state that's the vertical vertical means it is standing upright so from the higher level to the lower level so of the resources which should be shared with the states 41 percentage will be shared from the center to the states so that's the first word vertical tax devolution now the second word horizontal tax devolution what do we mean by horizontal now that it has come from the center to the states we are going to see that we have to spread this across the states so when we have to share it across the states we need to share it in such a way that uh, the sharing is meaningful what do we mean by this uh, maharashtra is a state goa is a state they are different in their sizes and different in their requirements so this 41 percentage cannot be shared as uh, equally across all the 28 states so what we have to do is we need to arrive at some criteria based upon which the states will be given with the share from this 41 percentage of the resources now i will mention the six different criteria by based on which 15th finance commission has given recommendations to share it among the states so the first thing is area so how big is a state so that is what is going to attract 15 percentage of the resources out of the 41 percentage so area if i am a bigger state i get more resources if i am a smaller state i get less resources how are we going to explain this we will be arranging all these states according to the area in a descending order which means the biggest state to the smallest state in terms of the area and 15 percentage out of this 41 percentage will be shared according to the area of the state second criteria is going to be population right now that we have defined about the area how many people are living in a particular state so that according to 2011 population they are again distributing 15 percentage of this 41 percentage to the states so the largest population state on the top and then slowly moving towards the smaller population states and according to that again 15 percentage of the resources will be distributed across the states now comes the question there are many states which are taking efforts to contain the population so if i have larger population if i am going to attract more resources does it mean that my population is actually becoming a good factor to attract the resources or those states which are taking the efforts to contain the population why are not they not being given with more resources actually it should be an encouragement to them so to address this particular point they have added demographic performance that's the third criteria which is getting 12 and a half percentage as the uh, weightage what do we mean by this we are again going to arrange all these states in the descending order of the fertility rate so lower fertility rate you are on the top of the list so like this we are going to arrange them according to their 
uh, fertility rate performance and again distribute this 12 and a half percentage resources across the different states based upon the performance now uh, comes another uh, criteria which is helping to promote the environmental aspect which is called as the uh, forest and ecology this is attracting 10 percentage of the resources out of this 41 percentage so if my state is having larger area under forest i am going to attract more resources from the center so again we are going to put all the states in a descending order where we are going to say uh, states having largest uh, forest area to the smallest forest area and distribute this 10 percentage of the resources across all these states based upon the uh, forest coverage. So, the fifth criteria is the tax and the fiscal efforts where we are going to say we are going to consider two variables. One is assume that I am Tamil Nadu state and I am collecting my own tax revenue. So, an average of this is going to be calculated for two to three years and that value will be taken as the numerator and the second variable will be I am Tamil Nadu state how much income am I earning that will be represented by gross state domestic product. So, now they are going to put this as a ratio of how much taxes am I collecting to the total income how much Tamil Nadu is earning. So, if I am earning more and if I am also collecting the taxes more then more resources will be shared by the center with me. So, now what we are going to do we are going to calculate the ratio of the state's own tax revenue to the state's GSDP and we are going to put it in a descending order and the two and a half percentage of the total resources out of this 41 percentage will be shared in a descending order of this particular variable. So, this is given as an encouragement for the states to collect more taxes out of their uh, income because it is actually focusing upon the state's own tax revenue. Now comes the last indicator or the last criteria where we are going to talk about the income distance. This is the most important criteria which we all have to understand. Assume that uh, we are having a Tamil Nadu state and we have the uh, Tamil Nadu's income which is represented as the gross state domestic product. Now we are going to divide this particular variable with the population of the state and we are going to arrive at a variable called as per capita uh, state domestic product which is like one, th one person in Tamil Nadu how much he is earning. So, like this we are going to calculate for all the states and we are going to put them in the descending order. So, per capita income of Maharashtra, per capita income of Punjab, per capita income of Haryana like this we are going to put it in a descending order. Now comes the question. After putting this in the descending order, we are going to take the first rank state and we are going to keep him separate. What we are going to do with the rest of the states is, we are going to ask every state to see the difference between the first rank mark and their mark. Assume that, uh, say for example, Punjab is becoming the topmost state with the highest per capita income. So, we keep Punjab on the top and it is having a mark of 85 out of the 100. Now, let us take uh, Tamil Nadu or Maharashtra or Bihar on the right hand side. Say for example, Tamil Nadu is getting 75 marks. Okay. So, now we are going to see the difference between 85 and 75. So, that va value will be 10. Whereas, the same 85 kept for uh, Punjab and you are going to talk about Bihar which is getting 55 marks. Now, the difference between 85 and 55 will be 30. So, now what we are seeing is Punjab's income is taken as the standard one and that will be uh, held here and all other states income will be seen as a income distance. Distance means what? You are going to see the difference between two different points. So, every state uh, Tamil Nadu, Andhra, Kerala, Maharashtra, Sikkim, everybody has to see the difference between their own per capita income to the income of Punjab and you arrive at that variable and that variable's value is what we are going to put it in a descending order, right? So, when we put it in a descending order, which kind of states will be having the highest distance from Punjab? Obviously, the lower earning states will be having, say for example, Bihar, Madhya Pradesh, Odisha, these kinds of states will be having large distance between them and the Punjab's value. 
so in such a case with the descending order of year all the low earning states will be sitting on the top of the list and the better earning states will all will be towards the uh, end of the list and this criteria is going to attract 45 percentage of the resources of uh, which is being shared from the center to the state now the question why should we share more resources to the states which are actually not doing very well in the per capita income that's why they got a larger distance between the topmost state and with themselves but this is the uh, rationale which the commission is setting saying that the lower performing states are not able to generate resources for themselves and taxation itself is a concept of establishing equity and equality therefore they are trying to take the resources from the better earning states or uh, they are giving rather more resources to the lower earning uh, states and the expectation here is this this lower earning states will be trying to improvise themselves in the subsequent years with the kind of allocation which are being given to them so this is the way how the poorly performing states are also getting higher resources of allocation through the finance commission and uh, there are objections which are being raised by the better performing states saying that we are doing very well but we are not getting enough resources we are doing very well in terms of the income as well as in containing the population but because we are having higher value in this we are not able to get more resources from the uh, center but uh, it is a balance which is being uh, struck between the uh good earning states and the poorly earning states and uh, an equality is being trying to be established by the finance commission so this criteria analysis or understanding will definitely help you to read the articles to understand why certain states are getting more allocation and why certain states in spite of doing very well in their economics are getting lesser allocation from the center thank you everyone good day